Open Dragon Bonds and create new project. Next, import your character parts to library. Open library and assemble your character in the scene. To change order of the images, right-click over image and send backwards or bring forward one level. You can also move image totally to the back or front by clicking send to bottom or bring to front. After you finish assembling your character, you can add bones. Start from the hip and go up to the neck. Add as many bones as you need. Select Create Bone Tool, click and drag. Make sure that the last bone that you have created is selected before you create next bone in the chain. Select Torso Bone and add Arms Bones. Select hip bone and add leg bones. Next check if all the character parts are attached to proper bones. If needed fix all the issues. Bones should take over name of the character parts that they are drawn on. If not you need to rename them manually. Double click on the top of the bone to rename it. To attach or move character parts to the proper bonds, select image, hold down left button and drag on the top of the desired bone. Again, if needed, double click on the top of the bone to rename it. I move torso image to torso 1 bone and I will keep torso bone character hip free. Place character on the horizontal ground line. After you finish fixing character parts and rig, assemble character by moving parts to the proper position. Make adjustments as needed. Please remember that amount and position of the bones will change from character to character and animation needs. Save your work. Browse to the folder where you want your file to be saved. Name your project and click Finish button. Next, add IK and Constraint. This will let you quickly pose skeleton. To select bones, select first bone, hold down control button and select next bone. Then click create IK constraint button. New IK target bone is created. Change length of the new bone so you can select it easily in the stage. Now you do not need to rotate each bone of the arm to set a pose. Repeat process on the other arm and legs. As you can see, when I move the leg, it passes through the character jacket. To fix this issue without redrawing, I will skin it to the bones. Skinning allows individual vertices in a mesh to be attached to different bones. When the bones move, the vertices move with them and the mesh is deformed at the same time. Select parts that you want to skin, turn on Mesh Options and click Mesh button and outline image as close as possible. Add more vertices where the character bends the most and delete those that are not needed. 
turn off edit mesh options and click add bone to bind button and select bones that you like to be bind to new mesh. Now when you select mesh vertices you can see bind percentage assigned to each bone and you can adjust them as needed. It is like weight painting in 3D. Move your character body parts and adjust bind. You can animate vertices as well. Now you can animate your character. Thank you.